Hello, today I'll be coding this rainbow cube animation. So let's switch to CodePen. And here we have the same video as in the previous tab, except um, I just want it here to see the result I want to get to. And I'm not going to leave it autoplay, not for now. I'm going to have a number of edges, and this one is going to be four, a number of cubes per edge, and this one is also going to be four, and a total number of cubes, which is the product between these two. Uh, equal. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to have an assembly, a 3D assembly, assembly 3D. Uh, here I'm going to have a loop, and I keep decreasing an M. And here I'm going to have a positioner. Within every positioner, I'm going to have a cube, a 3D shape. And this 3D shape is a cube in particular. Uh, for every cube, I'm going to have a number of faces, which is going to be five, because we don't see the bottom one, so we're not going to set it. Sorry. Um, and here we're going to have um, 2D faces. So, uh, wa. And these 2D faces are square. Okay, so uh, this is it for the structure, for the HTML structure. Now, here we're going to have the 2D faces. We're going to give them a background, which is going to be a uh, current color. But we also need to give them dimensions. And the cube edge is going to be, let's say, 4 ends. So now we're going to set width that L, the cube edge. And we're going to have the same for the height. And this isn't exciting because uh, the current color is always black. So let's change that. So we're going to have the positioners. And here we're going to have a loop. So for i from 0 to the total number of cubes, uh, which we need to set before anything else. So we're going to have the number of edges, which is going to be 4, the number of cubes per edge, which is also going to be 4, and we're going to have the total number of cubes, which is going to be the product between these two. Okay, now that I've done this, we're going to have a unit hue, which is 360 over this total number of cubes. Um, and that's not equal because we're having CSS here. And this is going to be nth child, and I take each and every positioner. So, without this. Uh, here I'm going to have color, which is going to be an HSL value. Um, and this one is going to be actually, I can just stop. Uh, I can do something smarter. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to set an eye. Um, cube index uh, and this one is going to be i so uh, here I'm going to set the color which is going to be HSL and here I'm going to have a calc value and I'm going to use this i times the unit hue Um, max out the saturation, bring the lightness somewhere in the middle, and um, this should do it. And this one is going to be a uh, cube index. Cube. Okay, now this worked. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is, for all divs, we're going to position them absolutely. Uh, next thing we're going to do is set transform style preserve 3D because we want to have 3D transformed elements within other 3D transformed elements. Uh, now here we're going to set a transform which is going to be uh, translate 3D and we're going to use an X um, which is 0 by default. We're going to have a Y um, are we going to use this y anywhere else? Actually, we can just set a calc here. And we're going to have the cube index. Um, minus 
half the total number of cubes. Um, and this one is going to be uh, times uh, the vertical offset, so uh, dy. So here I'm going to set this dv, it's going to be 0.2 times, so this is going to be the vertical offset. And then I'm also going to have a z, and this one is going to be static. So I'm going to compute it here, uh, and it's going to be half of the number of cubes per edge times a horizontal offset. So this horizontal offset is going to be 1.2 times the edge length. Okay, this looks nice. Now for the assembly, we're going to set top 50%, left 50%. Okay, something else we're going to do is here we're going to set a margin, so that it's all in the middle. Now the next thing that we're going to do, let's move this here, and let's set the components on different lines. And something else we're going to do is add some rotations here. So rotate Y and we're going to use a rotation around the Y axis. So uh, except here it's going to be the reversed value. So that's calc minus one times. Okay. And we're going to have another loop similar to this one. So this one is going to be R for the number of edges, and we're going to have that um, M, N plus. And here I'm going to have um, am I going to need the edge index for anything else? I don't think so. Okay. Um, this looks just about right without perspective. Um, the next thing that I'm going to do is have another loop like this one. And this one is going to be 2m. And I'm not going to have this here. I'm going to have i times... Okay. Actually, I think it's the other way around. Um, yeah, it's the other way around. Actually, I can just leave that there. And here I'm going to have so um, i minus okay. Now let's add a bit of 3D to this. So we're going to have body um, height perspective. Okay. Now we're going to have overflow hidden so that we get rid of the scroll bars and we want to see this a bit from above so the perspective origin is going to be in the middle horizontally a bit above vertically 50% minus I don't know uh, 4 times the edge length um, something else we're going to set is the background and this one is going to be black so here we're going to set 
background. Okay, now this is good enough. Now let's move on to uh, doing the cube styles. And one more thing we can do here, uh, transform uh, rotate y 45 degrees so um, that it looks more 3D. Okay, now that I've done this, let's move on to styling the cubes. So here we're going to have a transform uh, and it's going to be rotate 3D. And we're going to have this uh, i, which is the unit vector for the x-axis. And then we're going to have calc. Uh, the unit vector for the y-axis is 1 minus that i. Uh, and then we're going to have 0. And then we're going to have a rotation angle. Okay. So here we're going to set that i. To zero and we're going to have 4i from 0 to 5 on um, and the child i plus 1 we're going to set uh, this is i times 90 degrees Okay, and then we're also going to have that if i is 4, then this i is uh, 1, and we're going to have also here we're going to have uh, translate z half the edge length and um, it's going to be 90 degrees okay so uh, now this looks good one more thing I need to do here nth child 2n we're going to have color, that background color. Okay, now this looks right. And one more thing we're going to do is add a background image. So our background image, we're going to have repeating, but not linear. We're going to have conic, and we're going to have transparent zero degrees. Uh, transparent 90 degrees and something similar except instead of transparent we have that background color and this one is going to be 180 and we're also going to set a background size which is a quarter of the edge length. Okay, so now that I've done this, let's move on to the animation. I can collapse this whole thing. Um, what else can I collapse around here? Uh, I can collapse this and I can collapse this. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this and I'm going to set keyframe animation. And this one is going to go to, and it's also one turn, and it's also going to have translate y, um, and this one is going to be a maximum vertical offset and this maximum vertical offset is going to be on uh, the total number of cubes times the vertical offset and um, one more thing I need to set is an animation duration 
So let's say nine seconds. So uh, here I'm going to have animation, that animation duration, linear, infinite. keyframes and now it should work and it does okay now that I've done this let's pause this a bit and we're going to have some keyframes here our keyframes so our vertical offset and we're going to need an index. Now, let's see the percentage values we need. It's going to be 100% um, over 2 times nm plus 1. OK. And Actually, I'm going to set a K here too, and I'm going to use this K here. Okay. So here I'm going to have 0% and K times P. And here we're going to have transform none. And here it's going to be 100% and k um, times i times p. And here it's going to be k times i plus 1 plus 1 um, and the transform is going to be actually I don't need to. it's okay um, translate y minus that maximum vertical offset And here I'm going to have animation on name. It's going to be this, except I think in the opposite order. So that's going to be so I need to set the animation on the 3D shape. Is and out infinite, and now I can uncomment, and we should have a working animation. Now, if I'm going to uh, bring back autoplay, as you can see, it's pretty much the same thing. I can make the cube smaller or something like that, for example. Um, so something like this um, I can take out the video now okay so um, yeah we have the working animation this is it for today you can find the link to the code pen in uh, the description below and if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments or send them on Twitter. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you did and you wish to see more videos from me in the future, please consider supporting me in one of the ways explained in the description below. 
with a donation by getting me something off my Amazon wishlist or at least by sharing this video to show the world what can be done with CSS these days. In any event, thank you for watching and until next time.